Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999 on my brand new enchanter, Tortho Levid. Control the Chaos and Drow. So let's get into it. This is not going to be an overview or overvoice or overlay. What is it called? Oh my goodness, my head hurts already. Uh, anyway, this is going to be one of those situations where I'm not watching the video as I'm recording the voice. I'm going to be just doing a pretentious overview of what I'm probably doing. Look at all my bags. I have them all in a row. Look at my OCD. Yay. Look at all the items that I have. Ooh, I'm rich. I'm not, I'm not really rich. I'm just, you know, I'm decent. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not 100k rich. I'm more of a 12, 12 to 12k rich and I just had items borrowing them picking them stuff like that that said i do have to say thank you to zk gaming his links are going to be in the description below he let me borrow his helmet which is the one from the king inside of soul b comes off that giant and it's really nice it has 15 charisma i believe and also resistances very very nice resistances that said it is his if he ever needs it it's his. <laughs> so I have another helmet in my inventory. It just is not equaling that quality. That said, the other day I did get a helmet from Kale on my cleric. Something like that. Some Something. Anyway, that I believe whenever it turns in has 15 charisma. So that will take up that situation. The only items that I don't have charisma on are my gloves and my arms. The arms, I'm probably going to be getting the Sky Shrine or the Coldane version of those arms at some point. I also got Drake or whatever they're called, legs, that they have charisma, but they don't have any other stats. Probably about seven or eight of my armor items just do not have anything on them. But let's not talk about that. Let's... <laughs> Let's not do that. Let's talk about what's going on. I'm level 1. I'm trying to get to level 4 in this video. And I do, but the editing, the recording, everything is just... It's crap. I'm just going to be honest about it. it. It's crap. I think I do 1 through 2, or maybe it's 3. I don't know. And then I just skip to right to, hey everybody, I'm level 4 now. Let's, let's just call it good. And... I don't really want to be like that. So here it is. Level 1 through level 4. Steam font. The reason I do this is because level 1 through 3 is just a crappy grind. You're just grinding away. Just trying to get those levels. Once you get to level 3, you have the kobolds nearby. They turn, I believe, blue from, from uh, being yellow, I think, at level 2. Once you get to the point where you can kill those, you have a ton of them. It doesn't matter how fast or slow you're going to kill them, you have a ton of them. So that is the reason that I came over here. So 1 through 4, Steam Font. 4 through 6, I believe it is, uh, Steam Font. And then from there on, we move on. Now, I may not be here that long, to be honest. I'll probably do 1 through 4, 4 through 5... I don't know. May not even stay there that long. I want to. I want to travel. I want to be. I want to be diverse. And so that's probably what's going to end up happening in the video after this one. I probably. I. I not probably. I'm going to just be straight up. I went from this video straight into the next video just because I was really enjoying the character. And I don't know where I went. Um. Or at least I'm going to pretend I don't. <laughs> um, that's going to be for the next video. Uh, but anyway, the the whole plan is go from level 1 to level 60 by either solo, duo, or trio. That's it. I'm not going to do full groups. I'm not going to do any of that. Uh, I believe here at some point I ended up grouping with another person and I think later on we ended up uh, doing a trio. And that was uh, an enchanter, myself being an enchanter, and a mage. So it was a really cool trio that we did. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, they were pretty cool. I think one of them was really brand new to the server. 
So it really uh, was kind of nice. They had some questions. I had some answers. They asked questions. I gave them answers. They didn't like the answers. Whatever. Anyway, it's pretty cool just to be able to uh, meet people on the server that are brand new to it. Try to get their mind picked. See how they're feeling about it. And I think it's a very even keel consensus saying that everybody treats everyone well especially the new people to the server i i i cannot express enough how amazing the community is here the fact that you can come to the server five years ago today and still get the same quality of people coming by i don't care what guild tag you have at some point a lot of those people with those guild tags that you don't like have been really nice and friendly to the people as they've been growing up through the game. So I think that's what makes this a really cool server to come to. And the fact that you hear that from people that you talk to, it just really lights up my day. It really makes me smile. And I tell a lot of people the same thing. Don't do what I did get to level 60 on whatever character you really enjoy and then make a lot of alts or don't maybe you enjoy that character so much that you don't need to have an alt there are people that i've known on the server that only have one character and that is the only character they've had in their lifetime of playing on here and if they've had an alt it was one alt and i mean that's it and mules or whatever you want to call them they don't count <laughs> those are mules actual alts that you've geared up and actually played so it's just really cool and i i just wanted to mention that because not only in this video but in the next video i've just i keep hearing it and that's just something that i really enjoy now playing hans and those videos are going to be coming out too very soon Playing Hans, I don't get that much time interacting with people that are new because I'm not in my right mind when I'm playing Hans. Hans is straight up off the cuff himself. And that is just how it's how I play him. And it's really once I get into that voice, once I get into that attitude, I don't really pay attention to anything else that's going around because I think being that he is who he is, he has so much entertainment with himself that he doesn't really care about anyone else, to be honest. I'm just saying, other than, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to kill you, <laughs> that kind of thing. But anyway, I, I just had to say that. So once we get to level four, we're going to, like I said, continue on. I think I have brought two really good weapons with me. One of them is the Sword of Skyfire. It's a 100 plat weapon that you can get pretty easily. It's always for sale. Uh, it's a really good new weapon or a new newbie weapon. It's fast. I think it's 10 damage, 22 delay. It has a proc that you don't want it to have. So once it starts procking, you want to not have that weapon anymore. That's why there's usually a lot of them cycling through East Commons. So me putting it on a pit that I'm never going to get it back really isn't hurting the economy. It's actually helping it, I guess, because I paid money for it and, and so on. The other item that I got is the Baton of Faith. And I think I'm not going to use that for a bit. I, I think I might wait a little bit because if it's anything like, uh, if the enchanter pet rather is anything like the mage pet, when you give a mage pet a weapon that is over 20 to 30 damage, that thing will hit for 60 damage. So it's almost like you're power leveling yourself. And the only time it's not like you're power leveling yourself is when you're fighting a mob that you just can't beat. And that's when you're going to lose that weapon or item or whatever it is. So, just, um, yeah, I have that in reserve. You never know. I may use it in the next video. But 
I, uh, I, I had planned that once I got to level four that I'd use the Sword of Skyfire to level up. And it's not going to be a really big bump. I think the maximum damage you'll be able to do is 20. But either way, it'll be a better weapon than what it actually comes with on the standard level four pet. But yeah, I'm I'm really I'm really enjoying the class. It's a class that I've played before. I got a previous Tortha up to level 18 before I deleted it like two years ago because I was going to be making was it Drachmir or no, it wasn't Drachmir, it was someone. It was someone that I was making before Drachmir. So I went ahead and deleted the character, and now here I am re-leveling up that character. So I kind of have a grasp on where I want to go, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be honest about it. I don't know anything about enchanting, uh, being an enchanter. I know about enchanting. I enchant sapphires on my... Cl whatever. Anyway, um, I don't know the engineering, I think is what it is. I can, I've seen it. I've been a cleric for a while now that's been grouping with enchanters. I understand the mechanics of what they're doing. I just don't understand how they're able to do like five spells in a row, it feels like, that they're doing. Which is Mez. Uh, actually, it's Stun, Mez. Uh, or, yeah, Stun, Mez, Tash, Charm. I think is the, the cycle. <laughs> I don't know. Plus the fact that you want to probably have the mob that you're fighting rooted, especially in things like um, the brood mother or the brood master inside of Velks. You want to make sure you're rooting everything that you're fighting. That way, whenever the pet breaks, you're only having to deal with the, well, the cleric has to mitigate the damage of that one mob while the enchanter recycles those four or five spells that they're having to do. So I don't have a grasp on that. And I've been reading different things that people have been posting on how to play an enchanter. So I'm going to suck. You know, I, I this is going to be karma, to be honest. There have been many times that I have ragged on enchanters whenever I've been in groups and playing my bard or playing whatever. And this is going to be like instant karma coming back and just shouting it in my face. So you don't like enchanters or so you think enchanters are this enchanter was bad. Well, you're worse than that enchanter. I expect that. Just say it in the comments. Just tell me now you're a crappy enchanter. You're always going to be one. That's not true. Because I think the thing about enchanting or being any class is that you not only have to learn the class, but you have to practice that class. There's really good monks on the server, and they don't have the best gear on the server, but they're really, really good at their job. I think the same has to be said about enchanters. There are a lot of enchanters on the server. Does it require to have the best gear on the server? But it really does take time, skill, practice for every single mob or target that you plan to take on. Even if you want to try to duo or solo um, the Emperor in CE, maybe you want to, you got that 200k or 100k, whatever it is for the beads, so that you can open the door by pulling one of the skeletons to open the door. You get through that door, then you do the same thing to get into the Emperor's room, that kind of thing. So it's practice, and I expect that to be a thing. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna enjoy the the ride, the the situation that is becoming an enchanter, and know that for probably the first 50, 55 levels, I'm probably gonna suck really bad. But that's it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed level one through four steam font. Nothing nothing easier than that. This is the zone to go to. And also, Kinos isn't bad. So that whole area, one through six through, uh, is Kinos and Kinos Hills. Six through 12 is Blackboro. And that's easy. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. This is Cypher Deck. Peace out.